one day, I think one afternoon, as I remember, we were doing this jug band, and these three boys came up. Now, as I say, some of them, I think I was about 18 at the time. These boys were about 13, which is a huge age gap, you know, when you're that age. And uh, they were very interested in this in this jug band of ours, and and they were, and then one of them in particular was keenly interested, right? And this person had a I don't know, it was a a radiant personality. I just I remember after these boys had left, I was saying remarking to my brother that this kid, this kid was you know like, he was on the case kind of thing. This this person was uh, Lee Brillo. Uh, the other two were John Sparks, who went on to become the Feel Goods bass player, and Chris Fennick, who went on to become our manager. But it was Lee that made the impression. And uh, they indeed started their own junk band. And around about then, I, I went off to university. And uh, I, I did take my guitar with me the first time, but I couldn't find a band. This is um, 1967, I think. I couldn't find a band. And uh, I took my guitar home and stuck it under the bed. And as far as I was concerned, that was the end of it. I didn't never thought I would be involved with music. Anyway, when, when I used to come home in the summertime from the university, I noticed that uh, this jug band that Lee had started uh, w w had got pretty good, and they were they were playing quite a bit round about. And I'd see these guys uh, do, doing this jug band. Uh, so they were kind of developing that way. And uh, after university, I drifted out to India, where, you know, where terrible things happened to me on the way. <laughs> but uh, I'd, I'd come back from India, and I was thinking, oh, blimey, it's own up time. I've got, I've got to get a proper job now. And uh, wondering what I was going to do. Walking through that we were living on this council estate at the time. We come walking along, I come in the other way. Here comes Lee Brillo. He was, he was 19 years old by then. He he looked he was a solicitor's clerk and he looked he looked great. I mean I was a hippie I got you know long hair and you know all the <laughs> business and uh, Lee came along he was wearing a three piece pinstripe suit he had a really mean hairstyle with like shaved sideboards and everything you know like and a briefcase and and looking so you know dangerous <laughs> bloody hell he looked fantastic and I said hello man I said, hello and we we start talking and he's telling me how this sir. Uh, a rock band of his, uh, this jug, jug band of his, had, had developed into a rock band. And that the uh, the guitarist had just left. Well, they got rid of something. I think, oh, rock band, no guitarist. I thought, I've still, I still got my guitar. And I was like, oh, yeah. And he was going, yeah, you know. And we thought, I think we were standing there talking about this band and this, that, and the other, and keep coming back to this guitar business <laughs> for about at least half an hour, it might have been 40 minutes, and we parted company, and neither of us had asked, <laughs> asked the other one. He didn't ask me to join the band, and I didn't ask if I could. It was June, I, I think later on that evening, uh, Sparko, uh, and there's a knock on my door, I go, it's Sparko, he goes, do you want to join our band? I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs>